Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, June 4th. Today is the big day. I actually feel really, really good today. I'm very excited. I'm not as nervous. I actually feel very peaceful. I spent the whole evening with my guy and Corbin and we played video games and we ate dinner, we ordered in and it was just really nice. So I got to spend some time with him and I went to bed early so that I could get up early. Um, I'm feeling really good. I am ready. I talked to Kareen um, yesterday and a little bit uh, this morning she sent me a message. So I feel like, I don't know, my nerves are kind of settled and I feel like, okay, I got this. I got this. So I'm excited about that because I don't really, I don't like feeling like that. I'm just ready. And I know that it's gonna be a really good day. Tonight we are going to dinner with um, Kareen's cousin, Elizabeth, who is super sweet. I met her at Kareen's mom's funeral and we really hit it off. She's super, super sweet. And uh, so I'm excited. It's gonna be a really good time. We're also at some point going to see Kareen's other cousin who lives in New York, and she is on Broadway, which is really awesome. I have never seen a Broadway show, so we're gonna go to her show, I believe, and it'll be my very first time. So we'll probably do that tomorrow, I would assume. I mean, there's no other time to do it. So it's gonna be just full of fun, full of like, excitement. Kareen has a few things that she wants to do in New York tomorrow. So I'm just basically gonna be going with the flow, which is typically what I do. Uh, I'm pretty laid back. Plus Kareen told me about this car service called Dial 7. And Dial 7 basically is, uh, it's a car service for people, well anywhere, but they, you can type in your, your airline and your flight number and they'll keep track of your flight for you and they'll pick you up, either they'll meet you inside or at the baggage claim or they will meet you curbside and then take you to your destination. Kind of like Uber, but it's a car service. So um, I feel way more comfortable about that. I won't have to like call an Uber last minute. So I'm basically already set up to go. Like I'm, I'm ready to go. It's already paid for and they are gonna keep track of my flight. So if it runs, if it, my flight gets delayed, I won't have to do anything they'll already know. So I'm, I'm kind of relieved about that and I'll take you guys with me. So anyway, as you see, I'm just getting ready. So I'm gonna just take this time to spend time with the Lord and pray, maybe listen to a sermon and just kind of get ready. I need to hurry up because I need to go to my guy's house and he's gonna take me to the airport. He offered to come here, but it doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna go to him. I mean, if he comes here, it'll be like, it just doesn't make sense because I live like 40 minutes from the airport and he only lives like 15 minutes from the airport. So. It just doesn't make sense. So he said that he would ha he would bring my car back here. Jason's staying at my house for the whole time. So I'm, gl I'm grateful about that. So, all right guys, I'm gonna hurry up and just kind of use this time to pray and meditate. So I'll see you guys later. All right, packing done. I feel like I did a decent job. My, I mean, the suitcase is pretty full, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to bring anything home unless I leave something behind. So yeah, here's my suitcase. I think I'm gonna check the bag because I have so many like liquids and I don't know if they'll let me through. But my guy suggested, cause I put all my shampoo, conditioner, lotion, and everything in little things. So I have a bunch of liquids. Um, so I don't know if they'll let me through with that as a carry on, but my guy suggested that I just check my bag on the way and then on the way back, just leave all the liquids with Kareen. So I think I'm gonna do that. No, I'm definitely gonna do that. So yeah, I'm ready. So now I'm gonna close this bag and get out of here. It was a struggle, but I got it closed. Oh my gosh, I had to take a bunch of stuff out, change my shirt because I'd rather wear this shirt than the one that I had on. Oh, I did it. Now, I got to go. My guy was 
super sweet and walked me he parked the car and walked me in checked me in and then walked me up to security the security checkpoint and i started crying i'm sad to leave him but i know this is going to be a really awesome experience i wish he could come with but this would be a really good time for us apart um, but i just thought it was so sweet i've never had anybody walk me up to you know park the car and then walk me in and all that like i just thought that was so sweet it's just so amazing and always goes above and beyond for me and that was just another way that he just makes me feel special so i'm sad to leave him but i know it will talk a lot while i'm gone so i'm here waiting uh i have about an hour before we start boarding and i'm just gonna finish editing this vlog I, i'm almost done with and then try to post it before we take off so i'm really hot i'm sweating under this but i had to layer up because i couldn't fit this in a bag or anything so uh, i'm just gonna get some work done while i wait <laughs> I can barely fit, but I'm on the first flight. We're about to take off probably in the next few minutes because they boarded pretty late because the plane is so small. But we out here, we in the streets, we doing it. I'm almost there. This is a straight flight, so it'll only be like a it'll be like a two hour. We would like to welcome you on board, American Airlines. So flight number. So it should be a straight flight, two hours, I think it is. And uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna go get my car and wait for Kareem. I'm excited. Customs and claimed your luggage. Yes, I'm ready. Walk across to pick to pick up island. Wait at area C. Boom, done. Now I just 
wait for my car to come get me. And then I'm off. Driver's location. It's a black Toyota. Let's see if I can find this car. It's a black Toyota hybrid. We'll be here in five minutes. That was nice and easy. Elizabeth and then Naomi they're both Kareem's cousins and this is the first time I'm ever meeting Naomi but I've seen pictures <laughs> and I know about you but so this is Elizabeth hi and this is Naomi hello aren't they beautiful so this is poor family poor family so I'm actually really excited so we're hanging out having dinner at Hell's Kitchen yep they ordered appetizers and I'm over here ordering this big old meal <laughs> <laughs> you know though, you know I love food, so anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my time with them and I'll see you guys later. So I can just record it and then I'll screenshot it later. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. We have to come around a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, by the way, that food was really good. I didn't show you guys what I got. 
but I just got like a cool chicken burger. It was really good. So we're on our way to I think the Hudson. I don't know exactly what it is, but I guess it's like a ferry ride. So we're gonna go do that, and then we're gonna go do a little shopping. I don't think I'm gonna be buying anything, although I do wish I brought some better shoes because I did not think about this before we left the house. But um, yeah, it's gonna be an eventful evening. around here are so beautiful it's really peaceful serene a lot of people just kind of strolling and enjoying the scenery beautiful flowers and plants <laughs> I really really like it here
it. So this is exciting. This is a side of New York that I've never seen and I'm enjoying it way, 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 way more. Yeah, Shauna likes New York. Shauna likes New York. <laughs> it's really nice. There's so much beauty here. So it's kind of cool. Outfitters, Karina is trying to find something to wear. So we're just browsing around. It's been really nice. Like, this is really nice. New York is really pretty. I enjoy this part of it. The only New York I have seen is Times Square, and I hated it. But this is way more enjoyable and uh, very beautiful, very scenic. And the people are, have so far have been pretty nice, minus a couple little incidents on the high line, but that's okay. This guy would try to cuss us out. I was like, look, but <laughs> I had said a few words, but I just let him know you can't talk to me like that, bruh. But he ain't care. Anywho, uh, we're just gonna browse a little bit, continue walking. We've walked like 40 blocks, I think it is. But it's been really nice. I'm really enjoying this and spending time with Elizabeth, getting to know her. It's been really, really great. So day one, a success. All right, guys, the day is over. We had so much fun. <laughs> Kareen's belly hurts. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna hit the sack, get up early. She's gonna train me for Switzerland time starting now. So, good night. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed our first day in New York, or my first day in New York. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, and help me to continue growing my fans. Night. Night. Oh, I won't show you. <laughs> night I was about to show her in her nightgown and stuff. Oops. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>